This episode of Good Trades is brought to you by the awesome rock stars we call our patrons. That's Cherry, Kevin, Charlie, Carlo, Kenneth, and my female wife, Denise. <laughs> my female wife, you rock. Thank you all very much for your support. We hope you enjoy this episode of Good Trades. Morning, and Pumba, Lion King 2.5 is the best Lion King movie. Right? <laughs> yes. You have, do you not watch that? Nope. That's the morning Pumba I, movie? I rarely oh, watched any of the sequels. Do it. Oh, Skip yeah. two, just watch 2.5. Oh, yeah. I remember that sh- as a show. No, no, a no, movie. no, no. My movie show. You remember the when, when Kid Sim was all like, I just can't wait to be king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when all the animals fell do, down do, 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 at the do, do, do. end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who caused that? Pumba. The morning, morning Pumba. Pumba. Oh, no. He was in the pri- they, they, were there. they were in the Pride Lands? Oh, no. They were there no. All, the moment they were, uh, Simba was being christened, they were walking around. What's going on over here? <laughs> hey, Pumba. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. I, I remember. So, but they were just having an adventure. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. It's great. Okay. It's the best move. Straight up skip yeah. two. Two doesn't matter. I, uh, I really remember. I feel like all the sequels don't matter. I really remember it as a show, like as a series. Na. Well, that happens post. Because post that's movie, right? like I think before two. I remember like renting out videos, as in as in we used to VHS stuff. Yeah. So 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 we so we would rent out like <coughs> Disney shows, na ganun, like uh, like kung yung, yung Timon and Pumbaa, mm. Darkwing Duck, like, Chip and Dale. No. Oh no! It's garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. You sucks. gotta make a wedding dress. It's, it Yay. sucks more than Mulan two. Oh man, what's Mulan two? It's when the friends had to get married. What? Yeah. Yeah. See, I know. See, Yao, King of the Rock. Oh them. And see Ling and Chen Tao. What's that? The boyfriend that of Mulan. Stop. Parang the other three were getting new girlfriends. Yeah. And then Mulan was like, "Oh, it's not so perfect after all, Ganyan. But it all worked oh. out at the end. Okay. Kung Fu. As, as Disney movies. As, do. as they do. Yeah, yeah. Cinderella 2, nobody gives a shit. Dude. Nobody cares about the ugly sisters. <laughs> what about the Pocahontas 2? That was pretty crap. No, I, that's like, funny because parang Pocahontas dumped Blondie because yeah, like, you thought he died and found yeah. the brunette. Yeah, yeah like, I remember that. In, that's bad. Within minutes, like Pocahontas was all. <laughs> that is so bad. Hey, I, I guess John Smith is dead. And he comes and back and like, oh, that's all right. Let's have a three-way. Oh no, <laughs> it's me, John <laughs> Smith <laughs> Belmont, voiced by Mel Gibson. Uh, we fought natives. The good sequel is a no. What's the name of the Quasimodo movie? Hunchback. Hunchback Two. That's good. One. Okay. Because <laughs> but he doesn't get with Esmeralda. But he yeah. finds someone who appreciates him for who he is. Is it also a hunchback? No, it's no. a pretty lady. Oh, sweet. Good that's for right. him. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah Justified. I... Yeah. Welcome to Good Trades episode 22. <laughs> Rolling start, baby. 21? 21. 21. 21. Roll, run it back. The big two. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> Trevor Belmore. Belmore. Welcome to the Good Trades Brigade. Episode 21. Uh, we record monsters anyway. I'm fucking Alucard. I need to get in character. Okay. I'm so tired. Uh, Alright. We're out here at the outdoors of the Great South. Woo! The Great After South. an adventure, Christ. tune in Patreon. Our patrons will receive 10 minutes of something. Gruel. 10 minutes of <laughs> insanity in a car. If you want the context, it will be in the title. <laughs> God damn, like fucking south traffic, man. It's, I thought geez, you were relaxed. I did, yeah, I was. And then we were like, oh, I guess we're not moving. That was like a grueling 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. Mm. Then the, no, okay. 20, 20, not 20. Well, yeah. I'm better, better like no movement. No at movement all. at all. Jesus. Because right, right. them roads. All yeah. right, so anyway. it's me, your boy hosting Miggy. Migs. Wait, what's my. Migoy, there you go. Yeah. Internet names. <laughs> Sorry, nice. I mean it's I a forget. real game. Is it? Yeah. And to my left, which you cannot see, oh. is the Raffy man. Pop, pop, don't stop. He's got them catchphrases. <laughs> and then we got the Mig Samsung. 
from too much gaming. <laughs> That's okay, is that, 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 that your catchphrase now? That's your catchphrase now, because it's real. He's not wrong. Now. He's it's more active than me. Yeah. Migs from Too Much Gaming. That's your catchphrase. That's really not confusing. Sick. Because yeah. in our old show, Carlos calls me Migs. Calls you Migs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once we make a new show, it's going to be a topsy-turvy turn. Mm -hmm. If. If it's good. If, it, if it's good. Uh, if and it's you good. might be missing our friend, and Miles. dear compatriot. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> Dear, He's uh, in the land of the rising dear. sun, yeah. yeah, doing the Japan things, yeah. the land of the animu, He's the enjoying. waifu. He's, He's having it. fun. Yeah. He's having the big fun. Yeah. If you find him on Instagram, which I think is public, yeah. Emil yeah. Tang. You and mean, uh, like, in the Emil in the morning at night yeah. stuff. Or Does is he, he post posting? there or is it just Midnight Jams? It's probably just Midnight it's, it's, Jams. It's yeah. just midnight but he did jams. post one one picture really? of him like getting like a cassette tape of uh, what's oh, that? Oh right. Yeah. One of like, the Midnight Jams. Uh, a vinyl and two cassette tapes or something. Yeah. yeah. So we have a problem without the meal. What? Who Forgot. will explain the memes? <laughs> Nobody. I, mean, I am can, so confused. We can have an episode without memes. Yeah, dude. No, like, sure. Can we just take a break <laughs> <But> sometimes <laughs> for memes? I want to understand the memes. You can understand when okay. he comes back. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll save him up. <laughs> I got a list. <laughs> what is this? And it rolls all the way down. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, right. we're, in, we're in the deep south. The yeah. Las Piñas city. Did you, you guys get Ooh. checked? For your visas when you I enter mean, the, the I town. was born here, molded by him. Well, but, <laughs> Immigration uh, was fine, I feel like. Yeah, they didn't charge <laughs> the you. Toll gate, uh, Just so you know, this joke's for someone. This is for someone. <laughs> oh, as always. Yeah. Y'all are native south. Like, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really feeling. <laughs> I'm really feeling the energy from you guys returning to your homeland or... Well, Mix I'm, hasn't left. Yeah, it's just left. me. Yeah, it's you. you you're, you're operating on a whole new globe. Oh, dude, yeah. I haven't seen my old house yeah. in like over 10 years. Yeah, we went to your, your old house and yeah, it's yeah. huge. We stared at it and I hope <laughs> not didn't creepy, creep anyone yeah. out. Yeah. New owners. I'm sure, I'm sure they didn't hear it when you ex ex I was just screamed going, out there's loud. There's somebody there up is! the car going, ah! It's that one! It's the same! <laughs> that's, that was my, where my friend was! Oh, and it's, it's gone! Oh. Yeah. It's just this loud ass car going by. <laughs> oh, that was fun though. Yeah. We went to my old stomping grounds. Yeah. The Belmont house. And how about you? <laughs> the Belmont household. <laughs> Alright, enough how about, about you, my stuff. I mean, yeah. what? How was, like, how's this we, house? I've, yeah. I lived here. <laughs> no, but how's this like refreshing? You don't have nah. to travel back to the north. Yeah, we oh, yeah, came for here sure. for you. Yeah, like, man. I'm gonna just walk. <laughs> if I'm gonna go home. I'll just I mean, that's still quite a ways, to be honest. Yeah, but if you get used to it. But yeah, this is this it's is probably different. faster than walking. Yeah, this than, is than taking a ride. I want to say that it feels very relaxed. More relaxed. Yes. Yeah. And it's less have, hustle and bustle. We have five Except seasons. for that freaking stretch of. We have five Cause seasons. Because that's <laughs> just the one <laughs> road. <laughs> That's, including that's autumn. just that one long stretch of main road here. Oh, okay. yeah. That's why all the traffic goes there. Yeah. I see. That's actually a bad road. It's a really bad road. Yeah. I could, I could tell. I could tell. Check out the Patreon exclusive clip. So I cut the part You know what? I might, I might do that. Let, weez! Just a, just, <laughs> just a I peek. I thought you said weez! No, just a peek of, of what Patreon. we're cooking in the, in, in the Patreon feed. Rip earbuds. <laughs> mm. Get us out of here! Patreon! Alright, right. so on to the weeks outside All of right. the South Ventures. Yes. Um, I'd like start. to collect my thoughts, so Rafi, you go first. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh, this boy's got a note. I'm gonna, hey. I'm gonna oh. take a peek out of the list. <laughs> so we were at uh, Comic Con this past weekend. Yeah. And, oh, the last one. Um, at our last recording, anyway, we were at Comic Con the, the, the past weekend and we, we do as we usually do. Mm -hmm. We in there, we grind in that art, you know. We in as we usual, I don't have prints. Making people sale. happy. <laughs> we do that, we, we made some bomb ass tokens though. Oh yeah, that, we, that, that one was unexpectedly, yeah. I guess, popular. Yeah. The more it, it got out. I especially loved your uh, the, the soldier and the goblin. And you turn it oh, into yeah. a Goblin Slayer one. Yeah, yeah, that was that, was, uh, that was a commission by yeah. uh, Gene. I think it's yeah, Gene. Yeah. So I want to get to this 
Because there's always one every con. There's always <laughs> one weird commission. Oh, dude, we didn't even get to do that. <laughs> I, I feel like this is the one where we tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> it's too weird for us. Nah, yeah. It wasn't too weird for us, yeah. but uh, it was out of our ability. Yeah, there's that. First, it was correct, out of our ability. Second, yeah. it was out of our comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. So we hard passed. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, and Rainbow, Carlo and the Rainbow uh, Pages. So, yeah, the Rainbow Pages. So the commission goes. So there's, there's this one kid that goes, "Hey, uh, do you draw anti?" <laughs> <laughs> I told you. And we were all, "Huh?" Uh, and then Carlo. <laughs> I guess. Kind of. We were still like mulling it over. I guess we did say we draw no, anything. I did the. I, I did the. You did the thumbs up, and then directly, it, it doesn't work visually. Yeah, it doesn't work, it doesn't visually, work in, in But I kind of gestured form. to the left. And <laughs> Immediately hard pass to yeah. the left. But yeah, so hentai was fine, and then. <laughs> hentai like, was fine. Yeah, like. Roughly like, 2000. <laughs> put it out in of the context. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hentai yeah, yeah. was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. Um, um, overall, yeah. Um, impressions about the Comic Con, yeah. it was. It was more relaxing compared to the one in Centris, that's for sure. Like I, I, I'm more like I like the atmosphere more yeah. here in Bayanian Center than in Centris for some reason. Because you come from all the way to the south, like Centris is way out there for you. Yeah, yeah. So, so far, at least Bayanian, it's manageable. Yeah, it's it's manageable, and um, I don't know, like the tables are set. It's 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 set up way. Like, did you get that feeling? It's it has more space compared to yes. what we had in in centers. Yes. I don't know how how I feel how like there was more back the area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like the there was more leg There's room. more like the aisles were sure. wider. Yeah, and and people could hang out like around us. <laughs> yeah, bit, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Like even though there is not that much people coming in, like it like the the room helped a bit in spreading out mm -hmm. everyone in the venue. So. Uh, everyone still has their own share of like yeah. exposure and yeah. um, sales time to would be customers. So that's that's good. Like uh, we got our fair share of uh, onlookers, yeah. and of course we got sales. Well, uh, we got yeah. sales from Rafi's prints the usuals. Yeah, the usuals, and of course commissions. Commissions is something that uh, of course we never expect how many we're gonna get. Yeah. And uh, that's something that uh, I find, like, I find it that we got more commissions here compared yeah. to centers. Yeah. For that, some reason. So, also, because the the tokens are a big hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah. Could be. That was like, a good idea. Yeah. It's good. It's yeah. good that we did that. Yeah. So yeah. far, so good. Yeah. We're, uh, we're probably gonna do that other one, the next one. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, to it, some, for sure. To different degrees. In to some yeah. degree, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, for me, what was my week like? Mm, bunch of work, finishing up uh, the other like uh, backlogs, the the other take home commissions, mm, like yeah, Scissor yeah. and dolling up the, the the gothic. Also, there was this one chick that wanted a, a gothic version of Sona. Yeah, which was already <laughs> there's already a gothic version I didn't of Sona. Know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. You're, you're like, not a little guy. Yeah, I thought like I like she wants she you to draw something to different, draw it like in a, a different take on. Style. Yeah. So I designed my own <laughs> gothic sauna, and then when I, I saw googled, that. when I googled gothic sauna horror, it's as there. there there's already a gothic sauna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's 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 way far than what I designed, but I think. I mean, to be fair, know. like this this Comic Con, you you've commissioned a lot of like uh, female anime yes. stuff which, which is, is a style you don't normally yeah, do a yeah. style you don't normally like align into to cartoons lang pare yeah, yeah. Pare, western so that's, lang tayo swat cats <laughs> swat cats <laughs> yeah so that's cool that's, yeah. that's fine I like yeah. branching out I the, also, the style yeah. I was also very happy that I still got it like, yeah, know, like yeah, that's how yeah. that's how <laughs> <laughs> like that's how I started drawing like was drawing women anime oh. characters oh at oh. first I, I was like very not great drawing women yeah yeah like, it was very hard for me 
and like yeah it um, was fuck yeah <laughs> yeah damn you get the taste um, no, of it <laughs> no no, no I, I always had difficulty because there's like a certain <laughs> even now um sometimes drawing women gets tough because um I'm used to the masculine curves the oh, yeah. hard edges on yeah, in, you in, the, are. in the jaw lines and stuff like that because they come god damn it <laughs> They come more naturally, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, it's her body. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, but yeah get it. Do, do you have that? Self-reference material. Yeah. Do you have that problem or do you have that inclination? Like, what, what do you prefer drawing or what do you have an easier time drawing? Uh, humans, <laughs> for sure. Okay. I don't want to grow animals. But which gender do you find yeah. easier uh, it, to it, draw? It, it depends. Like, because usually now when I draw, I usually have reference. Oh, yeah. And of course, like basic, basic drawing, fundamental stuff. Yeah. Like you draw shapes first, you, you check out the reference. Yeah. As long as I have reference, that will be. It's that's that's a step up. Okay. Like it makes it easier. Like of course, if I don't have any reference, uh, I don't know. Like it, I guess it just comes out into into practice. You know. Yeah. Like the more you draw women or men, the more yeah. you get to know like the muscle structure. So yeah. it, it really does like depend on on your fundamentals. Like if you try to aim and like study more on on physical like yeah. like how the muscles look like when yeah. they're stretched or something like you know like basic body composition. Right. That's the that's the important part. What did you end up? I, I never asked you this. Like what? Or both of you, have you ever like? Did you ever try drawing as a child? Yeah. Or like, like what? What were the first like artworks that you tried to? <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was four years old. Like I, I remember this very clearly because I was four years four years old. I started drawing at walls, mm. like a, like a child does. Like a, a what? A like what? what the child does. Oh, okay. In this four-year-old phase, like you draw at walls. Oh, okay, okay. So I draw like Ninja Turtles. Fuck That's, that's yeah. the first shit I've drawn, Fuck Ninja yeah. Turtles. Which Ninja Turtle? Yeah. Uh, we'll judge you for this. Michelangelo. <laughs> like, oh, jeez, uh, a party right, dude. Right, right, yeah, right. typical I mean, South thing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Not Raphael, not the best one, not the correct answer. Oh, but, uh, that's subjective. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's subjective. <laughs> So, oh, I, I am kind of biased. Dude, actually, <laughs> yeah. actually, have I told you this story before? Oh no, that, that, I think like, did. Yeah, uh, you were named for the Ninja Turtles. So yeah, yeah. in um, as a child, I was like uh, curious. So I was exposed to the Ninja Turtles, and they were all like, "Fuck yeah, Whoa, pizzas they're... and ninjas and junk." Without the swear, I'm oh, yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, they don't swear. Yeah. Cartoon violence. You know? Sure, I didn't Fuck swear. Fuck yeah, Cowabunga. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Master Splinter. It's fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up the shredder. Yeah. <laughs> Stab him with your bladed weapon. <laughs> no, but yeah. Totally what they um, did in the show. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, uh, I, I, I was wondering, I asked my dad. All right. Like, um, so, pa, at, alam sa so, yung yung pangalan ko ba Rafael? So yun ako yun. Nakawin yun budin sa painter. Hindi ako sa ninja turtle. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically well, that's that. fine. So yeah, yeah. But that was cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Inaudible. Yeah. What did you, did, did that, you? The yeah part makes for great audio. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Especially with the, the elbow bang. Ouch. Oh no! Yeah! Sorry, I was thinking. In jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, where were we at? So, you done with the yeah. Comic Cons? Yeah, Comic Cons. Before uh, we go full on. That's again, go. What yeah. you got? What you got? Actually, um. Where's our, yeah. our weekly Netflix <laughs> quotes? Yeah, okay. so, yeah, let's go to the segment. Our weekly Netflix quotes. Um, flicks in like a moth, I wanna call it. So okay. this flicks, one, what? Flicks this one, like a flicks in like a moth. Because uh, I've been flexing like a moth recently, and these are the hot quotes I've seen through my flexing. So this one comes from Riverdale. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. So I don't know oh, no. how how caught up with you guys are. Oh, I have, Riverdale. I've, I've stopped at season one. <laughs> Dropped so it. So Archie's in prison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And like he's 
he's he's he's gotten himself into a, an underground <laughs> fight club in prison. Okay. And cause gotta he, show uh, off that muscles. Apparently, right? oh, exactly. Yeah. And apparently, uh, um, he knows how to fight, and he's like sure. the champion of I mean, whatever it is. Was it like some off, awkward flashback yeah. that they never reveal? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like fucking serious. I'm gonna like no. They, uh, they That's how they the just show introduce started, right? it. They just introduce it this season that he punched a dude out, and it's like, oh yeah, I know how to fight. Oh fuck, of course you do. You're fucking Archie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We just I read it, it in a comic just, book once. <laughs> I just let it rock, you know. And Jeez, so, just... <laughs> so dude, it's a crazy. Jack of all Archies. Like, shout out to uh, no, CZ and Toy Matt and and uh, his Jamie. wife Jamie that yeah. showed me the fucking Riverdale. So they're all into the Riverdale. Oh yeah, because they know they know how bad it is. Yeah, and they they just eat it up, dude. Like they love that stuff. <laughs> So yeah, um, so Archie is being led into the fighting arena thing, and with with a bag over his head. Okay. But he doesn't have he a shirt. Okay. He doesn't yeah. have a shirt. Mm. So, Part of the contract, yeah. Yeah. Must so show as he's, muscles. As he's being led, Veronica's in the audience. What? And he goes, and, and Veronica goes, I know those abs anywhere. <laughs> wait, wait, why is he serious? I recognize, no, wait. wait. I recognize those abs anywhere. <laughs> wait, wait, why is oh Veronica there? Like, where are they? Yeah, uh, they were trying to. No, they were trying to spring him from prison. This was them enacting their escape plan. So wait, they're in prison watching they, this, yeah, this they street watching. fight. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. long they found a street fight. No, oh, did uh, they find the they, fucking... they were gonna spring him right now, and Veronica was undercover. Okay. And she was like. I'd recognize those abs from anywhere. <laughs> sure you do, Veronica. Of course. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, the that's ginger it. Ginger abs. <laughs> Man. That's my week. All right, so I've got some Netflix adventuring oh, as yeah. well. Did you guys know that new she cartoon is out? Yeah. yeah. The oh. Princesses of Power. Yeah. Oh, really? Because there's was multiple out. princesses. This, 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 this. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I thought that was a ways out. Yeah, I just saw it like, oh, it's out. Okay, every, the whole show, is the whole season? All, All right, right, let's watch all it. All right, let's do it. How is it? I can dig it, but um, it, it goes into the part where, oh, it's still for kids. Mm-hmm. Clearly, no one gets slashed with the sword. <laughs> you know, no one has died proper. Yeah. Even though they're at war, parang. It's like the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. slash the shredder. Yeah. You slash like the rope the beside rope. him that dropped <laughs> ah, something yeah, on yeah. him. The crates on the shredder. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that PG, huh? Yeah. You throw the pizzas G-body. at him until he quits. Oh, gee, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's, they, like, oh, boy. the way they say, like, oh, war has destroyed so many homes. But, yeah. but I'm, no one died, so. Oh, this, is, this is still related to Grayskull lore, right? Like, he, like she uh, still says it? For, some for the extent. honor of Grayskull, yeah. yeah she says oh, that. Okay. So, so it might so be the same still, world. Pero uh, parang, I guess if you're gonna tie it into the thing, thing. it's like in the future, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Because they say like, oh, it's one of many Shiras that have passed, ah, and there okay. hasn't been a Shira in a thousand years. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh-oh. So Dude. Shira is some sort of like a code name, like <laughs> it's a power of the sword. 07. <laughs> I mean, there's many <laughs> Shearers before, he says. You get knighted by the queen. No, it's like, you're like, oh, you're like a the, now. the first. You get a badge. <laughs> like, <laughs> the only way you get the Shearer title is if you kill someone first. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, like, isn't it the same as He Man? Uh, it's the sword's power that grants him the strength of He Man. Yeah, but. Um, so Shearer is, is a code name. Like, uh, a, I a like title. how you say code name. No, no, because it, it is. Like, I'm, I'm, no. He physically transforms. Agent Shearer. Yeah, but dun, the, the, dun, dun, <laughs> like, dun, dun. the thing is, I'm comparing it to 007. Like, like the code yeah. name 07. Because it's, it's not James. a code name, it's the power. <laughs> the power of Shearer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's more the power of so Shira. I, yeah. so, so the essence or entity of Shearer. In the same way that Thor is a code name. <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, when in, in when Jane com- Foster lifted the Mjolnir and became Thor, yeah. did she what, adopt what, what Thor's was normal name? Thor's yeah, name? because dude, because in the comics, uh, who's that original? No, that was more of a title. Yeah, yeah the I'd title say, of Thor, the essence Jane of Foster. Thor. So you're not wrong, actually, because like, uh, who's that original character who who was Thor? Like, Thor? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, 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 the dude, the, <laughs> the doctor, the dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. disabled dude. Oh, what? Like yeah, he, yeah, like. Yeah. He yeah, had like, like a cane, mm. and he'd like tap the cane like twice or something, yeah, and it becomes Mjolnir, yeah. and he becomes no, Thor. because he was just, like him hiding in human Donald form. Blake! Yeah, that is. Donald he Blake is Donald the original Blake Thor. First. Oh, no, no, no. He was the original Thor. He Donald was Blake. Thor and hides as Donald Blake, or he's Donald Blake and 
No, it's just lifted Donald Blake power. lifted the power of Thor, oh, and he became see. Thor. The power of Thor. Yeah, so but it's like, like Shira, right? But like Thor, the Marvel character, mm. yeah. son of Odin, is that's just his name. They changed that. They, changed, modern... they, they kind of retconned it now yeah. that yeah. Now, it is, is Thor that himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Going off that, that mm. he, he is Thor yep. yeah. with the power of the lightning Mjolnir thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 But when somebody else gets it, they get the power of Thor. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay. This yeah. one is like Shira could have been a person at the time, but the sword now grants the power of Shira. Ah. So because she becomes like eight feet tall, also. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. Like they, they that's weird. She's physically taller. I, did, I never imagined that. More muscular. Like, cool. I, I thought because well, like she just changed, right? like she just changed clothes <laughs> no, or like, power. In like, the old <laughs> art, because <laughs> parang Star. si Prince Adam. Yeah. But um, he's clearly he man. He's oh yeah, he's he man. He's wimpy, but he's hella buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing a pink tight a pink shirt, tight shirt, but he's yeah. fucking jacked. With the same hair. <laughs> but if you're going off like the the, you know the 2003 remake. Yeah, yeah. He man. Yes. I've seen Where the, Prince uh, Adam one. was still mega buff. Yeah. But when he becomes he man, he becomes physically larger. Yeah. Because okay. parang there's a power that adapts into him. Yeah, yeah. Parang this is the same thing where mm-hmm. he's a small girl that becomes huge. A huge yeah. woman. So with super strength. Parang ganon, yeah. Parang ganon, yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. Then parang like oh Shira, the power of Shira again. All that. So what is the Peru tag's name actually? Aurora. Uh, uh, Adora. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember that. I think. Adora. 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 It's it's all right, but but like the premise because the title is. Princesses of power. Yeah. yeah. So, parang there's a bunch of different princesses with different elemental powers. Yeah. Have they shown a few? Yeah. They, they meet one that looks like a Steven Universe character whose power is she can teleport. Yeah. Oh. So she's from the land of Blightstone or something like that. I feel like that's like parang my mermaid well. princess who controls water. Then her legs become the fin when she dives. So. And she talks like a lazy high schooler, parang. I don't. I don't really want to hang with you, but I guess you're cool. Oh no! I think gonna yeah. It's, it's I'll charming. Watch the trailer. A it's bit. good. Like yeah. the show gets interesting. It does the thing that I wanted the new Thundercats to do, Aye. which is like you can divert from the story as long as you go back into it somehow. And they did. Yeah. That one, because you'd get like an episode or maybe an episode and a half of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like diverging a bit, yeah. yeah. But then they meet, like the characters themselves point back to, oh, we have to go do the the story thing first, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got some, we got some wind boys, oh, we got some turbulence, turbulence, because we're in the great outdoors we of the out south. Out and about, out and about in the south. Brought to you by <laughs> what, is, what is this place called? Uh, Molito. 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 This is Molito. This is Brazil. <laughs> I'm just gonna right, add some so, guitar, yeah. guitar, Mexican <laughs> guitar sounds. Molito. <laughs> Molito. Molito. So the parang like the, some the horde is the bad guys, and yeah. the the show starts off with Adora training with the horde. Yeah. Yeah. So parang that's the thing. Like the thing she I came saw from the bad guys, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those parang child soldiers for the most part, or like they're training them from birth mm. yeah. or from from youth to I know. Become like warriors. Then she turns. And no, she got promoted to be oh, like yeah. a, a leader of a troop. That yeah. was parang with her best friend Katra, who's like this cat lady with the claws and all that. Yeah. They fucking steal the ship and like, oh, let's go outside and you yeah. know be, be teenagers. Yeah. And like in the forest, she finds the sword. Yeah. And see, see, I forget her name. Glimmer is the, the teleporting princess. I like that. Parang her mom used to be the leader of the resistance force. Mm. Who used to have also like a, a band of princesses that protected with their magic, yeah. Yeah. but that has fallen. So parang like the princess separated, and they only protect their own homes now, right? No. Oh, yeah. And like Glimmer wants to prove herself to her mom, so she wants to be like a, a general as well. Mm. But she fucked up a, a previous mission, so parang oh you're grounded, young lady, because it's mother daughter thing for them. Okay. So it's kind of cute that way. Yeah, yeah. So Shemper with her best friend, the guy with the bow and arrow without powers. They go yeah. out in the forest to look for something to, I don't know, to like figure out a plan to redeem herself. Yeah. And Chempre, uh, Adora, and Glimmer end up at the, in front of the sword at the same time. Sure, of course. And like Glimmer goes, oh, horde soldier, we have to prevent from getting our stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then they get attacked by this giant bug. Yeah. And in the heat of the moment, Shira transforms. Adora Ooh. transforms into Shira. Mm. And then the bug like bends at her will. 
bends. But bends? it kneels down oh. and stops really? attacking. Yeah. Oh, so it recognizes the power of Shira. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, cool. there, there's a relation to that later. Ah, okay. That's dope. Interesting. So yon, no, parang ano? Intriguing. And then like during the kerfuffle, yeah. See, Catra ends up going back to the base. Yeah. And then Shira ends up, Adora ends up stuck with Glimmer. Parang they they try to fight and then stuff happens. They end up getting lost in the forest. Mm-hmm. So like. Along the adventure, see Adora finds out that the Horde is actually evil, yeah. and then uh, finds the wonders of being outside of the Horde camp. She's introduced yeah. to like a nice village who's having a festival at the time. So, parang she sees a horse for the first time and like, mm-hmm. what is that? <laughs> it's oh. so majestic. <laughs> really? And like the guys like, oh, you want to pet the horse? And like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. Oh, she gets all cute. shy. So yeah, like yeah. the guy puts her hand on the horse's nose and like, see, he likes it. And her eyes glimmer Aww. like, this is the best day ever. Yeah, that's really <laughs> I cute. It. I can and imagine. Then, like, as she's having good times outside, Shepard the Horde attacked the village looking for Adora. Yeah. Because one of the big baddies parang ordered that. Because I think there's something special about Adora Shepard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, she sees that the Horde is bad and then fights for the good side now. And that's usually where the, that's where the adventure begins. Mm-hmm. And what they're trying to do is the parents of the princesses now were the ones that defected, not defected, but like they left the parang council of the princesses to protect. Yeah. So what the kids are doing now is recruiting the current princesses and reform that mm. parang round table of princesses with magic. And they're they're all young and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They all have their own elemental powers. So when they the, encounter like a princess. They joined the party for Yun good? Yung episodes, parang, we're going here to recruit this princess. Yes, like here, a princess of the one. week. Princess of each parang episode. But, but yeah. they, they have her along when they yeah, go yeah. to the next adventure. It's a, it's an interesting like side adventure because, like, syempre may contained adventure, pero may story relevancy. Like, the bad guys are also on hot on their tail. Yeah. yeah. Unlike Thundercats where, let's go to this one town and have a random adventure with no bad guys. <laughs> yeah. And then let's do it three more times. <laughs> that was a problem where they never went back to the interesting main story. Yeah. And then they got cancelled. Is this the, the anime Thundercats? Yeah, yeah the newer one. Yeah. Which was a shame. Because uh, I, I like the premise shame. of that show. I really like the art. Yeah. Like, yeah, yes, I am. Speaking of which, how is the art for Pure? You can... Like initially, because it looks like a mix of Steven Universe style, new di- soft round shapes. Is it yeah. like from the same creators of Steven I'm Universe? I'm not then? sure. It might be. I, so I didn't do my homework that... on the, the backgrounds. Yeah. But like it, it looks very similar. Yeah, like and it, Steven Universe looks good. Yeah. It's a nice I mean, it has show. certain yeah. influences I on think Steven some Universe character is actually designs. animated better. Like Glimmer looks like. Oh, she's a straight up. She looks like a Steven Universe. Steven Universe. She's also like the, the chunky build. Yeah. yeah. So, like a so major, you know, a fat princess that you don't normally see. Okay. Because mm. most of them are like Chepret's really slim and all that. Yeah. So why aren't they doing that? Do the other princesses change? Change in what? Uh, transform, like, you mean? Do, do they transform? Or there, do they just have the power? They have a different power, but there's one that she basically... She's a tech nerd, yeah. but her power is her hair. So her hair oh. becomes like different hands and all that. Oh, cool. And she does some crazy stuff. Like she makes a chair out of it and sits on it. <laughs> Whoa, and she's being okay. Unique, and then they're, they're typing all the computer stuffs. Because one time it. she gets I know, captured by the bad guys, but since she's a tech nerd, she breaks out easily because her hair was binded, but they just slide out. <laughs> and then when she gets caught, oh, then she puts her hands back. <laughs> and at one point, she's having a conversation outside of the, the shackles and like, oh yeah, sorry. And she goes back to the wall and reshackles herself. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Yo, that's really cool. It's really lighthearted. It's fun. I feel like I can get into it. Um, you might think the animation looks cheap at the start, but yeah. when fight happens, money happens. Good. Mm. In a good, good. way. Good. Good. Okay. Like Castlevania. Yeah, yeah. Not to that extent, of course. Oh, but it's it's good and solid. Yeah. Thirteen episodes, season one. Bitten. How long per episode? Twenty minutes. Well, well at least standard it's standard easy. cartoon. Yeah. So at least it's thirteen and easy not watch. something like four or six episodes of Castlevania season one. Oh come on, that was a that was a weird case. Yeah. yeah. But that's fine. Speaking of which, like. Are you excited about the, the Devil May Cry? Mm, Man and nope. Shankar, yeah. Shankar, uh, Shankar. I'm half enthusiastic at the moment. I want to see yeah. what the what it looks like first right. because yeah. we've already tasted animated oh, Devil animated May Cry. DMC. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, and it was bad. What is 
with the poster of that? Like I keep it's seeing him. It's right? Andy. It is him, right? In a Dante cosplay. You gotta understand. Is that seriously you, you, the promotion? You gotta understand that? that man is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's super crazy. He's super crazy. But like, like in a good way. Like he dresses up really extravagant. Yeah. I mean, it's a good cosplay. Yeah, it is a good so, cosplay. So, that's just is that official that's promo just him, material, dude. no? I don't think, I think they just found a photo yeah. of him in a yeah. Dante uh, costume. Yes, that's see, that's see, just see, him, see. that's just him. Because this is a cartoon, right? Yeah, it's it is. An animated it is an yeah. animated thing similar to Castlevania. Yeah. 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 And it's Which just him why, moving like, why around. Why is it a live action photo? Yeah. Unless. Because oh, yeah, no. it went around <laughs> everywhere. I think it's just that they found a photo of him in a Dante costume. Yes. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, and he likes DMC that Oh, He's mentioned that So, why? there's hope. I'm like I'm not fan. super excited because para oh, well this has happened before. Yeah. As long as it's done and right, it's fine. Like I'm I'm open to it. Let's see. Like it it really depends then on where they're gonna set up the story. Like are they gonna go with Devil May Cry one or something? It looks like more... a, it might be a young Dante, so probably three. Three. three oh, yeah. It's gotta be three because that's Me everyone's favorite. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So that that's one thing. I'm excited. Like I'm, I'm, I, I really loved the three. You can change your styles. Yeah, that with no, with no consequence. If you don't like parts, one style, yeah. get back your points. Back. Choose another one. Yeah. yeah. Then in DMC four, like, you have access to all of them. Yep. Yeah. You switch on switch. the fly in a month because he's mastered them already, right? Yeah. That makes sense. And like when when he has the, is it trickster? Yep. I love the move where he just. Does the nunchucks with the with shotgun. With a shotgun, he does fireworks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that doesn't make sense, but that's cool. Yeah, fuck yeah. He's got, like, the motorcycle. Fine. He's wielding it like dual... Like dual swords now, yeah. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> with his creepy Tito face yeah. in DMC5. <laughs> but yeah, like, I like his bootleg universe, too. Yeah. It's Andy, so... The Venom, sure, the Punisher. I'll watch it. I hope it's good. Power Rangers. I hope it's good. Yeah, yeah the Power Rangers one. Oh yeah, that one was. That was weird. That was something. I dug it. It was fine. Yeah. They got some of the actors back for that too. Oh. Yeah, did yeah, they? They did. Yeah. They got like three rangers, right? Right. right. The, and they got two porn the black stars. Guy? Nah, it? it's different. Um, was I that him? No, no, no. That, no, because that, that's Zach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They Who's got one of the brutal? the later ones, the blonde one. Yeah. Uh, and someone else. Yeah. Who was the one that su- that was super brutal? The parang I feel like parang, the Black Ranger had a fight scene with guns. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Was he? What is his ba- was was his backstory like? He's still, or he became an agent to government. Didn't he have like a music career then? Or I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. I, I forgot. Well, anyway, something like that. I yeah. dig the bootleg universe. Mm. Some of them, if not all. What What are there out there? I don't know. I don't really follow most of them. I just know about the Venom one, Punisher, Punisher. Power Rangers. That's all I know either. I have seen. I did, that's the, the Punisher more. one was really good. Yeah, that's yeah. the one was, I liked the most. Because it, that was fan service since it was uh, it vegan. It felt very pure. And it was ve- It was portrayed by vegan police. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie. Police? Oh, from that? Scott Pilgrim, the movie. Uh, the original actor from the first Punisher movie that yeah. Marvel handled. What? Uh, oh, right. Yeah. I forgot the name. There was one. Vegan yeah. police. And I can't distinguish it from Blade. Really? Because they're the same <laughs> thing. Oh, come on, dude. Like, uh, I mean... It's just, Blade is just Vampire Punisher. Yeah, yeah. But, right? but with swords but, but and no, shit. But he doesn't like flip and do... He but he doesn't has like, the flip. truck. Like, he has the truck and there's the old guy giving him advice in suturing I up guess. his wounds and shit. It's but the like, same thing. They're very distinct with their... Fighting style, at yeah. least. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I guess mean, in terms of like uh, premise, yeah, they might be similar or like mm-hmm. flow. Uh, fuck. I but forgot. yeah, the Punisher one is by far yeah. my favorite of the bunch. Yeah, that was good. That was good. So, anything else, Miggy, for the Oh no, she, that's pretty much it. Shiro was the big one. Mm-hmm. It's good. Watch it. It's fun. Cool. Light-hearted, fun, easy, easy watch. I can do it too. Up to you, Migs, passing the thing. Yeah, the baton. Um, I did. I did some Netflix homework too. Oh, we all Ooh. did some Netflix. We all yeah, Netflix I and unfortunately didn't watch. The, um, what's that one? Extinction yet? Oh, okay. starring Michael Pena. Yeah, take your time. Let, yeah. it, let it creep up. I on did. You know, watch when, another... I, when I talked about the aliens, <laughs> and they turned out to be real. I did get to watch dreams. another Michael Pena oh, um, right. Netflix exclusive thing Uh-oh. that happened. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? I know so, um, as you all know, Marco and uh, Narcos, Narcos Mexico finally came out in mm. Netflix. 
So it's a spin-off um, show from the Narcos. Is it still based uh, on like real life stories? Yeah, that's okay. the good thing. So it um, it centers around the Mexican uh, drug Mexican trade. cartel drug lord. B- 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 before the cartel ever formed oh, in Mexico, cool. All right. so everyone's just like lowly farmers um, trying to just grow and sell weed. Yeah, like that. That. oh, just weed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, weed is the like the major thing at first, Ooh. and then um, this character who's played by Diego Luna, mm-hmm. um, Miguel was... Angel Miguel. Gallardo. Is so, he also in the Star Wars? Yeah, in Rogue One. Yeah. He's the one of the uh, oh, duo yeah. protagonists. He was the he was the dude like sidekick protag, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next so to girly um, girl, he was girl. he's playing the bad guy here. Oh. So he's the one who's trying to form up all the Mexican um, uh, drug dealers, I guess, to form just to just to form one uh, unit so that there will be less violence and yeah. everything gets rich and something like that. Aye. Oh, yeah. So, um, our boy Michael Pena, though, um, he is the protagonist of this show. Yeah. And his character's name is uh, Enrique. Um, well, his, his nickname's Kiki. So. Right. <laughs> so, Kiki. Yeah, his nickname's Kiki. Right. Um, has, Michael Pena, has, has Michael Pena always been the main character of Nar- Narcos? Nope. This is the first time he's appeared in Narcos. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a he's... spin-off. So, so he plays a character named oh, uh, Agent Kiki uh, from <laughs> Agent Kiki from from the from the DEA. Uh, actually, that that uh, guy in real life uh, yeah. is he's a hero. So that's cool. So, um, but that's okay. the thing. My okay. my problem with this one is when I'm watching it, I can't take it seriously because it's Michael. Pena. Because it's Michael. Yeah. It's Michael Pena. Being serious. Um, being serious. <laughs> named Kiki. So <laughs> so many conflicting so, thoughts. So many conflicting thoughts. But no, um, it's it's too. it's um yeah, it's good. Like I found it um uh, in, in entertaining a bit. So because, it's just Michael Pena. Yeah, it's it's he even did that whole Luis thing in the first episode. Oh, what? A bit, a bit, he just did a bit. The Mexican voice. Yeah, I did the oh, Mexican man. voice. Because that man can speak straight. Yeah, yeah, he can. And um, that's acting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what you call. But yeah, so far, acting. I think I'm. I think I'm five episodes or six episodes in now. So yeah. stuff are really happening now. That's also like it kind of crosses over to the to the original timeline or the the original Ooh, mar- so Narcos uh, stuff. Is it or is it at the same time? No, I, this Was one takes timeline? place. Yeah, uh, this one takes uh, place first for sure because because okay. Narcos um, takes place in Cuba. Yes, okay. in Cuba. I because, didn't know it was this complex. Oh, you haven't? Have you? Oh, you not haven't a watched? Single, oh, it's based on a true I story. would recommend oh, I, you watching the first season of Narcos. Of who? Narcos. Pablo. Narcos. Pablo. Yeah, Pablo no, I mean, Escobar. Yeah. Pablo Escobar. Yeah. I was going to say Braga. But it's <laughs> Fast and Furious. <laughs> that's, <play. laughs> that's a fancy character. <laughs> right. That's a, that's a Marvel villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a Marvel. Well, this yeah. is also a Marvel character. It is Michael Payne. Yeah, it's Michael Payne. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, fuck. All of these Disney boys. <laughs> if you think about it, they're everywhere, dude. Yeah, like, making oh, the money. Oh, speaking of, uh, yeah. Um, funny thing. Uh, some of the cast here uh, mm-hmm. is uh, you'll find some of the cast in the DA team familiar. Yeah. Um, first is Michael Payne's boss. Um, he appeared as uh, Eobard Thane in the Flash, oh. the t- TV series. So he portrays was, uh, Fane? Uh, oh, Reverse that Flash. that guy, uh, handsome boy. Skinny dude? Yep. Glasses? Yeah, yeah. No, no, not that one. The original thing. The oh, one okay. where b- before he murdered the, uh, the oh. glasses guy. Anyway. He dies. And then and, there's, uh, oh, well, there's this that. Yeah. But there's this other guy. This 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 tall, skinny white man. Yeah. Uh, who's portrayed by the guy who did uh, Cole Phelps. <laughs> Oh, in shit. L.A. Noir. Who's Cole Phelps? In, ah. L- in L.A. Noir. Oh, okay. So when I saw him, wait a minute, why is this video game it's character video here? Game <laughs> and then, but oh, you forget he's that's an actor. Cool. Yeah, he, he's an oh, actor. I'm an actor. So that was, that was the bonus. You gotta the and see what falls out. Yeah. So yeah, um, so far it's good. And I'll see what happens once I finish. Like, I'll, see, I'll give the final verdict once I finish the, the season. Yeah. 
you think it's weird maybe in like two two or three years or whenever the actual superhero fatigue sets in it's then, already setting yeah, in it's, to it's, be honest it's been setting in for a yeah. while really already. yep i feel like there's a lot for, for me personally fatigued. i feel like um people say it's setting in but like it's still I'll as still popular than yeah, yeah. it's still watch it I yeah. love superhero. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if if you, if you love comic books, yeah, then you won't watch comic book watch movies it. because it's it's based on the thing you love. Yeah, that's okay. it. But but okay. I have because my my iron rule before was, if it's a hero I like, I'll yeah. watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then I ended up like skipping Ant Man two in yeah. theaters at least. Yeah. You know, like, I still I like, haven't watched. I like I like, I like Ant Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I like the character. I enjoyed the first movie, but I just didn't feel asked to watch the second one. Even uh, though I wanted to, I mean, they, I, I've I've watched the sequel. It's not really good, except when the after credits kick in. Does <laughs> I mean, it I'll, I'll deal with it. the the snap? The after credits, yeah. Oh, I. It has to, cause it, it has to. It's a way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I. But like the the major ones, I will watch for sure. Mm. Like the, I think the big thing I missed this year was Deadpool two. <gasps> that was good and though. Batman. That was a good one. Unfortunately. Yeah, that was good though. But even then, I felt. Like, I forced myself to watch Deadpool too. Yeah, and oh, yeah. also that's the thing. Like, I think superhero fatigue that we normally, like, experience is basically when the movie is an origin story. Yeah. So, of course, if it's something different or something, like, right. twists the formula a bit. Yeah. Like, for example, Deadpool 2 or Spider- Avengers. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming. Is so good that it's Spider-Man not an origin PS4. story. And even, you know, I like, e- even Infinity War, like, that was yes. really a good... Uh, no, twist on the well, we waited for a long ass time yeah. for that one and it so. delivered because I know people can drop the ball on that type of stuff oh, yeah. with, with that many heroes yeah it's yeah. very so easy. easy it's very easy to drop the ball I'm happy they did so that I w- but you, you know what I, I didn't actually like Homecoming I know I'm in the minority but like, mm-hmm. yeah. I felt like, like I didn't like it as much as I expected to but I enjoyed it yeah. I mean I, I, like it, I like it better than like for real, I like it better than the Raimi movies. You, you, you. And, well, we like the and, Raimi and the movies for different yeah, reasons. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but the only Raimi movie I liked about this was was the second one. So that's the thing. I like them all. The I like I like parts of each movie, yeah. but I, not really one particular favorite. I feel like I didn't like three as much. The three is hilarious. So three is hilarious. So for Grace, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Red form it is sun. hilarious. Is, is there like, like a shit. is there like a Star Wars edit where because you know the the I forget what it's called but like the a shotgun the quote, edit. No, they 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 term it like the proper way quote unquote to watch Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, the, the shotgun sequence. You know, you know, yeah. they, it's basically everything except the kid parts of Anakin from Episode One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you, the movie starts yeah, yeah. with the fight scene. Yeah. yeah. At the end. You I start mean, with parang four or five. I, you, you, yeah, start you start with, with four or five, getting killed, two, and then jump to two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you just bounce on one. And then they in. re-edited like sequences of of scenes. Mm. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. So what, parang, what I knew was it just the order. Be, it all became about Anakin. Oh, I... So episode one, two, three, then four, five, six. Mm. But like it starts with the Qui Gon getting killed. <laughs> that's good because that's the only part that matters of episode one yeah, that is true <laughs> that's, that's the only yeah. one everything yeah. else yeah. doesn't I'd yeah. say so <laughs> so parang is there a version of Spider-Man 3 where all the Venom parts are cut out all the Topher Grace broken, parts no. are cut I mean, out the only thing good at villain wise is Sandman yeah, yeah Sandman was surprisingly yeah. good yeah like, I feel like they should have switched Sandman should have been playing he wasn't even a villain Venom. Spider-Man was just being an asshole in that yeah. movie but yeah, so Narcos, Mexico. Uh, the other one that I watched wasn't in Netflix, but I started watching Gridman since. Oh yeah, I think last two weeks or last. S S S Gridman. Yes, S S Gridman. Anime. You remember this? Oh, live action. Like, you remember? You know, at the time of the Saban era of bringing Japanese live action shows to America. Yeah. You got your Masked Rider. Your tattooed your, teenage your, alien fighters from Beverly Hills. Right. That was Saban, right? You what? got your... Wait, what? Yeah, you don't know That's tattooed teenage alien that. That fighters. That fighters. teenage oh. fighters. No, no, no. Tattooed teenage alien <clears throat> fighters. Empires? Alien, alien fighters. fighters. Alien fighters? From Beverly, from Beverly Hills. Hills. The fuck? <laughs> you got your... What is this B-movie <laughs> uh, dude. title? Dude, 
you got your big bad Beetleborgs. Hell yes. You got okay. your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You got yes. your Masked Rider. You got Rider. your Masked Rider. Yeah. How about the Masked VR? Masked Rider. Yeah, the, the VR, VR Troopers. The VR Troopers, baby. You got that. That was crap. There was one called yeah. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Of course know. there was. Oh, and man. And the premise okay. was, there's a bad guy hacking the internet. Yeah. With and the help of an kid, alien. Right. What's the name of the alien? I forgot. The Della... Uh, forgot. Besides, but it's, it's Tim it's, Curry. It's, it's Tim Curry. It's the same <laughs> levels as Megabyte yeah. from from reboot. Yeah, like that's the core of his name. It's voice acted uh, by Tim Curry. Yeah, Tim, that's Hyper the best. Hyperdrive or something. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, parang this kid gets this power, and yeah. what it does is he basically becomes Ultraman, <clears throat> but inside the computer. Inside the internet. So he fights <laughs> mini Godzillas in the computer world. And, and the he, explanation for this is. Oh. Are they are the in, viruses? Are, are it's the viruses? Yeah, yeah. It's affecting okay. the real world or something. <clears throat> it's right. fucking up machines that affect the real world also. The coolest part is when he transforms. He needs to fucking air guitar his way to the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this this is based off a Japanese show yeah. called Gridman. Yeah. yeah. Which is Ultraman, but instead of being a giant, he's a tiny little thing in a computer. Alright. Yeah. Right. So that really didn't take off in Japan, <laughs> but like the, yeah, yeah. the American For version reasons. is... The American version is more popular than the Japanese Yeah, it's a lot more version. notorious, okay. yeah. and it has that goofy-ass title, because Superhuman Samurai right. Cyber Squad, all of which is an S. Sure. Uh, so is it, is it a... what does S-S-S-S come out for? Yeah, four Gridman. Those four S's stand for Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Yeah. All right. So this is an anime version of yeah. Gridman. Yeah. Um, created, I mean, co-created by uh, Studio Trigger, responsible which, for the Gurren, yeah, for the formerly Gurren Lagan. of Gainax, yeah. responsible for Gurren Lagann, yeah. uh, makers of Kill a Kill, Little Witch Academia, yeah, and but so they do good fights, good yeah, fights, really good production like, values. They're the platinum games of anime. Yeah. I was about to make that that comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so far, I think this this show is set for like twelve or thirteen episodes only. Ooh. So it's a limited Standard run. Standard anime fair. Yeah, I mean, this is something that Trigger is not known for since you know they're they're used to the twenty four hour uh, twenty four episode, episode thing. season. Yeah, well, thirteen sounds OVA yeah. art. But this one, this about. one's uh, cool because not only does it um, address the Japanese version of Gridman, mm -hmm. but also the Superhuman Samurai American Cyber version. Squad <laughs> American it references version both. It references both and. Um, like they kind of borrowed elements from the U.S. show, like the the parts, because in Gridman, or I mean in Superhuman Samurai, right. uh, they get to call in parts like um, uh, jets or it's like an Omega Zord yeah, Their because ships they can become armor parts, which can attach to Gridman. Yeah, yeah. so Centurions. Something like that. Think like, of Megazord upgrades. Yeah, upgrades, oh, okay, basically. Oh, yeah. it, and then they it. unfold and come apart to form armor for... Yeah. Yeah. This is the anime version of a Sentai show? No, yeah. an anime version of a, 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 an Ultraman show. An Ultraman to be, show. He means Tokusatsu. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The genre. Same thing. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know really they good. did this. Yeah, dude. This and is new. This is new? Yeah. Oh, it's, I... it's fun because um, even the animation parts, like how Gridman moves, Yeah. It, Moves reminiscent to Toku era like a live action uh, poses, show. yeah. So you Ooh. kind of feel the weight of the movement for some of the scenes from Gridman, yeah. And yeah, it's it's um, it's it's mixed in 3D models a bit and 3D animation, but, but is it in a good way? In a good way, because you can do that the bad yeah, way. Yeah, there, there are just so. some scenes that were in 3D because it's it needed. Uh, like it's that means it's probably easier to animate because of all the details on like his yeah. armor. And funnily enough, there's this one like they have one rule or one bit where whenever Gridman shows up in the computer screen, it's always in hard ass 3D model. Okay. Okay. So it kind of he kind of even animates Jank. Okay. A bit. So does he t pose? Uh, <laughs> almost. Okay. Like, good. Good. He, like, good. as in parang ano lang talaga para siyang PS3 stance. model na uh, Gridman. Okay. <laughs> so it's cool. So that's one bit like where, where everything's animated good except for Gridman in the, in the screen when he's shown in the screen. So that's the perspective that the characters are seeing. He looks yeah. like a PS3 model. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But in the actual show perspective, maganda. Maganda. Okay, okay so it's tasteful style. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and also they did kind of twist a bit when it comes to the pathos of the show. So I'm not gonna spoil anything about that since... I've been uh, hearing a lot of these sort of mixed things. Now it's not your typical 
superhero show. Yeah, I was surprised too when they kind of showed the twist. I saw the, the, the fan theory changed. also. Oh, this that one. I'm What's not sure. It's already like no. I mean, I can't. It's I can't, something I can't, I can't super weird. Yeah, yeah, they all toasters. So. Uh, yes, sure. Sure. Toasters. That's the, one. That's the one. They were dead the whole time. <laughs> they were old men. <laughs> there was a machine that made clones of them, and they killed them every night for the magic trick. <laughs> Where did so, you get this? Prestige. <laughs> prestige. Oh, yeah. Right? Fucking <laughs> oh, hats. shit. That's my people. <laughs> um, always really old. Yeah, yeah it's dude, really it's old. still it's my old fucking enough. favorite. Best Michael Caine impression. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Michael Batman, Kai. Michael Kai. My favorite Batman versus Wolverine movie. <laughs> <laughs> For Scarlett Johansson's heart. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, Gridman. So yeah. I think it's that's part it's, of my anime. It's gonna homework. finish at around two months from now, since it's it's it like episode seven. Just is it a weekly today. thing? It's a weekly thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? That, yeah. That's just my big homework. Yeah, so Shira, um, Shira. Like I burned through that in like two and a half days. I, I guess I just remembered now uh, I learned Keyforge. Ooh, that, yeah. was, that was a, a week right. ago, I think, or, or this week. I forgot when. From, uh, the uh, new weeks ago, game weeks made yeah. by the, the man behind Magic the Gathering, yeah, Richard Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Oh, fuck. That's the Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> that's a different Garfield. Oh, oh no. that's oh. What? What there is? <laughs> What's the song? What's the There's a song from Keyforge. There's a song from Wrestling? Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, the one uh, Spider-Man. The, no. Spider-Man. The pop song. There's uh, a pop song? For you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Keyforge? You want to know about it? Like, it's... You so, know? This, I played it. This, I played it, like, too. To explain, I, I haven't played yeah. the game itself, but, yeah. like, I've been anticipating it ever since I heard it. Because every trading card game, we've or every major one, yeah. you know, is all about deck building, right? Yeah. 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 You, you find the cards you want, you take it apart, you build a combo around yeah. whatever, and then play it, right? Hopefully it works. Mm-hmm. Keyforge is, it eliminates deck building as a whole. Yep. You basically, like, I don't know how it works. Is there, like, a computer thing that auto-generates a deck mm-hmm. with algorithms I, based on yeah. certain I mechanics? I assume so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically, also, a booster deck, yep. which is completely unique. Yep. And it cannot be mixed with other decks. Yeah. But like, you buy a deck, that's it forever. Yeah. And the upside to that is, um, theoretically, you can just buy one deck and that's and you're, supposed you're to... You're golden. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, you're, you're going to be able to ride that out until right. the championships of the world and or whatnot. I, I believe the way that the, whatever algorithm they have works is that yeah. there's going to be at least two combos mm. yeah. that work around that deck. So it's not just random jank. Yeah. My game plan shot every My, time. And like I, I think it factors in like synergy between cards yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So that's So you might you might get approach. still a bad deck. Yeah. But it's gonna have a function in it. Yes. It uh, except for mine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. Mine I still feel like I don't understand it as much. Uh, all I understand is like it kills things and does good stuff when it kills people. But, <laughs> but the entire goal so of the generic. game is not, yeah, like, not like to reduce life to zero or no. it's to forge three keys. Forge three keys. Um, each key costs six amber. Amber, which is what you build up as which well. Which is what you build up. And like your creatures, um, you can choose to whether attack or reap each turn. Mm-hmm. So reap is like the mining aspect of it. Like you can choose not to attack your opponent's creatures and then reap instead. You get one amber from mm-hmm. that. And there are like cards that when you play it, yeah, it wipes the board and gives you one amber and stuff like that. Other cards, like, uh, it gets very interesting when you introduce like uh, cards that steal amber from Ooh. your opponent when he's about to like cash it in. Right. You, you, you steal, take one out. Take like, one oh, out. fuck off. Yeah. yeah. There's also like capture ones wherein a creature can capture amber from the opponent and when he doesn't get it back until he kills that creature. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's fun. That sucks though. It there, loots like, the amber. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it's kind of fun. It's a fun distraction. It's no no one's ever built it as a magic killer, but oh, I don't think yeah, that was it. Yeah. yeah, I think the but, guy just likes to make games. Okay, I and, find the game slow to be honest. Yes, that's the like the con part of it. It's it's it, it is it a is, bit slow. It's meticulous. It's now, isn't it like always around like twenty to thirty minutes, like a normal game anyway. It's I guess more so, than but that, I, I guess. feel like there's no way to speed it up because. 
Yeah. Getting amber takes so slow sometimes. Right. And then forging keys, uh, you only forge your keys at the top of your turn. So mm. around your upkeep and right. time. And also, like, uh, because they introduced factions in this game, mm -hmm. and yes. per turn, you can only play with one faction. Yeah, so, for choose. example, if you have like five cards in your hand and yeah. you only have like two to three per faction there, you can so only you can play only those play three. three cards. Yeah, right. so it kind of um, like slows down the pacing of the of the game a yes. bit, especially if, for example, you're you're setting up a combo for this certain faction, but on your next draw, you don't yeah. get. Those faction those cards, factions, so yeah. it kind of like so that's the luck aspect turn. of the card game. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. I just can't see. I guess why it feels so slow to me, and maybe for you too, is because um, you can't sense the flow of it. Like you can't get into the groove of it. Like that's how I feel. Because there's no like, oh, next turn I'm gonna do this is this is this, and I know what I'm gonna do. It's always like I have to read it again and I'm going to have to reconfigure because well, I can't play these cards. Isn't that just part because of it's a new game? Yeah, it is. It's, and you're it learning the cards? Is. It probably is, to be honest. I, I haven't played that much of it. I've played like uh, one, two, three, and a uh, So did you all just buy like, like individual booster decks? Yep. Because that part is going to be like completely unique. Yeah. yeah. Um, the starter kit is four decks. Mm -hmm. Two of which are the start decks, and they're the same. Yeah. Every box, but the other two are different. Mm -hmm. They're booster decks. Yeah, yeah. So, parang you get four decks, and then the like the token cardboard cutouts yeah. for the amber and the keys. Plus the rule book. Which look good, yeah. The tokens are really good. Like it, it's fun to have them all in one place and for the key. It feel, and you feel so powerful. But another main gripe of it is like, I do not think I dig the art style. Yeah, the, the card frame doesn't appeal to me either. It's very like, hard so. Like, yeah. I, I don't dig the aliens faction. The, and, sure. yeah. the, the Mars cartoon people. It looks too cartoony. It's yeah. so out so, there. And like, but uh, it, this is just like a personal preference for yeah, me. You yeah, know? me too. We like them demons and magic. Yeah. But, yeah. And, and I guess it's because they stick out. The Martians stick out. Yeah, they really do. Uh, they're goofy looking. Every, everything's, <laughs> they're really cartoonish. Everything's yeah. like uh, Paladin, Sanctum. They're like... Uh, huge little armored green, yeah. paladin, little green, green alien, yeah, yeah, with laser beams and, and there's EMP Viking blasts like and stuff. Viking like um, the Probs Paddy, Probs Paddy. Yeah. barbarians, yeah. and then they're like uh, there are certain factions that we haven't encountered yet. Like yeah, there's the, like the Shadow. Yeah. Um, At least two or three uh, my factions. friend has a few decks. I was browsing through his deck. And it's like he's got assassins and like <laughs> thieves and like these are all on brand. Like. His three factions are like cool. Yeah. They're like lightning mages and like. <laughs> ah, yeah, I feel like a lot of it is that. Then maybe yeah. said they still have to like. I, I mean, guess they still have to make money. And I guess you, you bought the wrong stuff. deck that's suited for you. I yeah, guess. I mean, like they, you haven't bought the deck that's suited for you or your playstyle. Um, they, like Richard Garfield admitted that like, oh, you might get a deck that's just you know not strong enough. Yeah. yeah. Because of the the randomization or the. Procedural generation, or whatever. It's weird, but that's part of it, though. Yeah, like, so what I heard, what card shops do, yeah, is that they open them, mm. list down the cards, and then put them in front of the box. Mm. So like some people, you know who, what they're gonna get. Yeah, some, that, so some kinda, people can so know. That's what kinda, I would that kind of destroys the aspect of what Richard Maybe Carfield. Might, no, but like you still can't deconstruct to... it. Right? Yeah, I guess. But that's. But it does mess with it. Yeah, it it, it messes with the spirit of but the game. But that's like not normal naman procedure. That's the card shop doing their own thing. Yeah. Maybe DCI, for people DCI. who come in and like, fucking, I, I lost the gacha game. Yeah. yeah. Got a shitty deck again. Like, oh, here are options. But maybe they cost more now. Yeah. Gonna... This is the the TCG part of the podcast yeah. now. <laughs> At Basically, the very we're end. Back the to very card end. Games. Yeah, we're back to card but, games. But, yeah, I feel like... Um, I'll the, at least last... get one deck. Yeah, just to try Yeah, it me out. too. Like, I'll just try it out. In you know, that's... It's so easy. the The barrier for entry is like really easy to get into. Like buy a deck, try it out. If it's not for you, you don't need to yeah. spend a penny more. Yep. But it's not like you have to drop in a lot of cards to make like a, a, a competitive yeah other deck like a magic. They're all together. playable yeah. against each other to some degree. Speaking of speaking of easy to get into, how yeah. do you feel about Vanguard? Oh yeah, so because we've been that was Vanguard, I've been trying like to push it's such yeah. a high a con bit. like it's such a high contrast in 
how you're able to understand the game mm. we just two to three games of vanguard compared to what we've had Fucking two to three much. games of uh no of keyforge oh right because yeah. vanguard's different and it's more straightforward yeah. because you know you, you, you get six lives and if you if you lose six lives you that's lose it. the game yeah that's it no like, like I, I was i mentioned this to mix before because yeah. like when i initially read the cards but yeah. um I got lost because like oh there's so much crap in this tiny yeah, card. Exactly. Like the power what does this mean? What like is that? Over like Japanese symbols for yeah. triggers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can't understand that. Then I figured out like oh, once I found out the legend like oh it has a V that's a vanguard circle. Yeah. It has an R that's a rear guard circle. It doesn't okay. matter where as long as it's a rear guard circle. Okay. Then the trigger is like I don't need to understand the Japanese symbol. Yeah. It's color coordinated. Yeah. Green means heal. Yellow is critical. Yeah. They're all plus ten. 10, 000, you know? Okay, so it's just a matter of learning the legend. Learning as the long language. as you learn the base rules, you're set. It's oh, a yeah. smooth flow, and which is I noticed I was... the same with like Yu-Gi-Oh. Then mm. up until they introduced like monster effects. Yeah. But <laughs> okay. all, like once you get the base rules, yeah. Magic I say I feel is the opposite. Where the base rules are simple, mm-hmm. it's everything else is making that's it complicated. Super, yeah, because yeah, all the other card effects make it like a bit of a. A, yeah. a whirlwind of yeah, emotions. That's what makes it but, but at least there aren't like <coughs> symbols that are confusing. Like um, I'm not knocking on Vanguard, but like that's the part I felt was very intimidating at first. There were like a lot of symbols. It's like the cards. base rules are a big <laughs> slap in the face. <laughs> yeah. Also, well. the numbers are big then, like thousands. We're, we're well, dealing with. Yeah. No, we're dealing. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. I guess you're. Yeah. I mean, but, but yeah, that's my. Like I think it adds to the impression. scale of the anime, but I'm 51,000? What yeah, the like fuck? Yeah, like five figures. Like, that's, ooh, that's a lot of numbers. Just take out the, the three zeros, though. Some I, people play like that. Yeah, but when How I, much does it get? Plus 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but when I, yeah, like when I figure out, nah, you, you don't need to really like get into yeah. that set of numbers and just like, can I block that? Probably, yeah. I'll do it now. I'm yeah. going to take this hit next. Yeah. You know. And the yeah. luck part is the draw triggers. Yeah, yeah, I I, I like really aspect. like that aspect also. I kind of dug the draw triggers um, there. Damaging and damage is related also to your card advantage. <coughs> right. Yeah. That's a very interesting thing to do. Like, like if you run out of cards in your hand, you don't have anything. You're to basically block. open. Yeah, you're yeah. basically open. That's so. really cool. Like I like that aspect of it, and I feel like I'm getting the hang of it more and more. Yeah. Like when we played like earlier, that was pretty much it. Yeah. Ba- Bali yeah. card effects na lang at that point. Yeah. The wind's picking up, boys. Right, right. Yeah. Looks like we're blasting. Off. Also, I noticed <laughs> that um, since there are clans, which is essentially tribes in this game, oh, yeah. they all have a different playstyle. Yeah. But it's usually unique to that tribe itself. So, parang the the one I like to rock, the, the protagonist deck, the Royal Paladins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's straightforward aggro. Yeah. But with key units working around the, the, the big cards, the Blaster Blade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the cards center around that. Yeah, so true. they work in conjunction with Blaster Blade. And Blaster Blade has the ability to straight up remove one of your opponent's rear guards. Yeah. So she's the removal piece. It's a Raven is Chupacabra. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he can only remove front row yeah, rear no guards. Vanguards. The dark version of Blaster Blade, the, dark, the Shadow Paladins, yeah. which is, it's just Blaster Blade but in black. Yeah. His, his ability is for a cheaper cost. Okay. Because but you pay one cost and you pay the secondary soul blast cost. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. Sanya naman, you just counter blast once. It removes a back row rear guard oh, that okay. your opponent chooses. Sacking. Uh, that. You're forcing yeah. them to sacrifice one from the back row. Like it's it's tempo, but it's not your control. But you're still like ruining a big. Yeah, game I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big And thing. they benefit from each other. They get strength. By the number of X units that they have, mm. that's cool. So they Then you have another tribe, which is the Oracle Think Tank. Yeah, you mga, mga <laughs> like no, no. It, it sounds like that, but they're essentially the Shrine Maidens. You'll yeah. see, you'll see. They're Shrine Maidens. Yeah, because their ability is it's a Scry deck. Yeah, it's it's, it's control, basically control. <laughs> Not turtle. quite, but you control yourself. Yeah. Diba? So like you control your triggers essentially. Like mm. oh, that's a trigger that stays up there. Then. Drive check and oh now you're dead. Yeah. It's so, also the I think that's the most popular one right now in the meta, in Vanguard. Yeah, but OTT like last and, week, the like, ninjas won. Yeah, Morakumo ninjas. It's where? Good. Where? Where uh, did they win? In weeklies in, weeklies in like in Japan, even like tournaments. Oh, yeah. 
They they filmed themselves. I'm, I'm secretly I'm secretly Fahum Una Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Google that. Then I'll say it. Because OTT that that when I heard that and oh wow okay. Because the What's, anime is also on YouTube, boys. Yeah, it's also on YouTube. It's I, I tried and watching it's ongoing. it too. All of it. Yep. yep. Even the old 2011 it's like a, one. It's like okay. Gundam Info where they show yeah. the sh- where they show the whole season All of it. Vanguard. Mm-hmm. And they even have um, these <laughs> these commercials. Oh, they have ads for themselves. You even have ads for Bang because, Dream. Because, I know, <laughs> sure. the, the, um, the distributor Bushy Road yeah. Yeah. does a ton of stuff. Yeah. Like a bunch of other card games. Yeah, dude, what, what is Bushy Road? Like, are they mostly uh, card games? They own a, a bunch of for, other stuff, didn't they? Or are they really an anime like production company? I think that. They're mainly that. But oh. then they also branch out to merch. and I know. It's weird. Like, they, they have, have everything. Properties, eh? Even games development. Fucking, and... they got Mila Jovovich to do a Vanguard ad. Well, with, yeah, like, yeah. with a wrestler person, man. Okada. Okada, yeah. Okada man. Which is weird, but like, okay, Bushy Road. But yeah, that was, that was, like, I've just, like I said, like, like, episodes in the past, like, I've just recently, like, discovered Bushy Road and this Bang Dream Which um, is the phenomenon. mobile game, the yeah. mobile rhythm game you talked about before. So that was, you're that ashamed. was some, not, Which not also really has now. an anime not now. now. <laughs> not now, oh, like, you're, you're owning it, you're owning it. Also, I haven't watched the anime. I, I really right. don't like the, well, like, the protagonist. Like the, at least the, the... Bang Dream part is they have another card game, Weiss Schwartz. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a it's reaction. like Weiss Schwartz. Weiss Schwartz. All right. Mila Jojo. Instead of having like clans or whatever, uh-huh. it's different anime properties as card expansions. Oh, yeah. I'm into yeah. that. So, parang, oh, we have Fate Grand Order, we have Gurren Lagan, we have Bang Dream. Yeah. I think. Really? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So really? like, I mean, I I bought the booster pack and you. No, no. So um, he's asking if Ruby's in Ruby? it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They have. Oh. feeling ko. Yeah, they oh, have them because uh, like I saw They've some booster packs uh, courtside. They are now yeah, they, anime. They, yeah, that one. Fucking Haru, he is in there. Yeah, and then. Interesting. And like they bring in mechanics from their shows into the card game, which is why mm-hmm. that particular card game that was broken. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so, yeah, so they own game. that too. <laughs> Bushi Road. But yeah, Vanguard. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really, it's really good. I'm, I'm, like I'm really it. enjoying I like the game. Lot. I might buy a deck, but let's see. And like yo, so far, yeah, when man. it comes to pre-cons, mm. you know how Wizards is notoriously bad? Yeah, this was good. For making like pre-cons? Balanced. Yeah. Well, Wizards, the man is that the pre-cons itself aren't bad. They're just not competitive. Yeah, mm. Vanguard's parang, competitive. They're casual because yeah. they're two copies of a good rare, one copy of the good rare, yeah. Yeah. four copies of a trash common. And then three copies of everything. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then this artifact. Just the one artifact, <laughs> right? It gets popped immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. And like, I've been, I brought this up now. Pokemon has learned to make good pre-cons. Yeah. Where it's not just like, oh, Pokemon, Pokemon, now kill each other. Yeah. This one is like, Pokemon, Trainer this Pokemon cards. gets stronger if you do this combo. Uh-huh. This Pokemon strengthens that combo. This Pokemon searches for the combo that will trigger everything else. I'm gonna... Yeah. Speaking of, dude, I can't wait to play that game on the Switch. Oh, oh yo. Yeah. Let's go, Eevee. Let's go. Oh, oh my man. man. Eevee, superior version. No Pikachu oh, lightning no Pikachu. rats. We don't like no lightning rats. <laughs> Get out of here. We um, want them cute dogs. Dogs, baby. I'm a Pikachu they, owner. Yeah, you're a trash no, you're a trash Eevee person. is the superior version. <laughs> Just oh, did you see the, like, did, you, did you see the video clip of what Calvin posted or shared? No. Like Eevee, you you you, you get to high five Eevee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a couple yeah, of times, do. and then Punky Niki Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is and, this? It's so and cute. It's like it, it, uh, I forgot who told me this. Like, it's basically uh, Pokemon and Nintendo at some point. Yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, you can you can pet the the, 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 the Pokemon me mechanic is. Expanded yeah. Yeah. with the featured Pokemon. That's I, nice. I was it's wondering like if it. you can like uh, you get voice to... activate like <laughs> like bark tricks and whatnot. Like do a flip, Eevee. Eve. Eevee. Yeah, do a flip. Or like hey, Spider Man. Nice. <gasps> I'm gonna call my Eevee Spider Man. Why? If you can, Spider Man, use decapitate. I don't know what uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what do Eevee flip, moves. Do tackle. <laughs> Do a flip, Spider-Man! Because Tackle does like 120% damage. Hell yeah. Because it's level 99. Huh? <laughs> I'll call my AV Shaniqua. Uh, just to finish the, 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 the card stuff. Yeah. Dude, fucking the Vanguard pre-cons are playable. Yeah. I mean... They we, come with we, four copies of rares. Sick. Uh, we experimented on this, like Miggy and I. Um, he, used his, he, he used the meta deck for... Mm. 
what's it? The the, uh, the Dimension Police, the yeah, Great Dimension Daiusha. Well, I just used the precon of the. Well, you used the modified precon. Oh, a modified one. Yeah, all modified right. One. That's a modified one, but still close. I got overwhelmed. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was that was something like a precon deck that can stand. I mean, there, there's there's still the luck factor, yeah. of course. Yeah, because of the the drive checks and the, right, and the at least for that particular really cool. deck, the game plan is make one robot really swole mm. and yeah. then make him a bigger robot yeah. again and attack yeah. again. Like it can, that's that's it, how it we can... fought the apocalypse in, yeah. in Pacific Rim. Yeah. <laughs> we made <laughs> that much. one that one robot <laughs> pretty swole. <laughs> I mean, it got into like crazy numbers too, like fifty thousand. Oh, he can go yeah. higher. Yeah, he can go higher. Jesus, fifty? Well. Yeah, because his, his condition is. The, but the base powers are the same. Yeah. But on grade zero is five k. Grade one is eight seven eight nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's grade two is more nine thousand ten thousand. Yeah. Those grade threes are which is like the max grade you can ride. Mm. Thirteen hundred. Yeah. Know. Interesting. That was you, I know. <laughs> His condition is like the grade three to another grade three, which is the upgrade version. Mm. It's because uh, the different parts. Like yeah. the different lower yeah. grades are different parts of a robot. It's like you're combining. Combine. Oh, yeah. sick. So That's like you really have the cool. land version, you have the air version, yeah. you have the bird version. And they all combine all right. into a giant, like yeah. the great Dayusha robot. Hell yeah. Then he gets another upgrade piece that becomes the, this is the, the perfect Dayusha. It, it, it was it. it it's, 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 what's that old robot anime? I forgot. Like Raijino. Raijino. Yes. It's Raijino. Oh, okay. Parang kid robots that combine. So you gimmick niya. Nah, if, if you can get this to... Parang plus 45, 45,000 or above, yeah. you ride it again after the attack phase into the superior form, which grants you another power up token. Mm-hmm. So he'll get stronger again. <laughs> and then you can wow. attack again. Yeah. Woof. And you can even stack them up. Double which study. you will drive check again also. Yeah. So you can potentially kill in one attack phase. Yeah. It's just about making one robot really Super strong. strong. Yeah. <laughs> And even in the anime, when, because they're imagining yeah, how yeah. it happens, the robot is talking, and every time he gets a power up, <laughs> whoa! That was, that was fun. Like the anime. Did you reach that part? No, no, but the, like the initial, like how they describe the world of the world like, of Vanguard. Logs. Imagine it, dude. You're on the planet Cray. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, dude. You're possessing like, these Vanguard. Like, like they're floating in space, then going to they this. Go to planet. this fucking planet, and they fight there. And but it's then, all in their heads. There's yeah, no like VR. Like whatever. they're imagining, yeah. like like the greater the, the imagination. Because that's the tagline of the become. of the card yeah. game. But imagination is I don't know whatever the whatever. Yeah, yeah, dude. But the so, way they show it, they're like hey. so cringe. Yeah. It's so cringe, but they get into it. It's good. It's, it's, yeah. it's a good. It's game. good. I like it. I like the show. Then, uh, magic. Um, magic leads an anime. Magic. <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah. Speaking of magic, wasn't there an animated series? There There's was a manga. A manga. manga. Like a new one. A new one. And I... it's basically one. like, it's basically like they're using legacy cards. It's legacy cards. So it's like '90s, like set in the '90s set. I remember I had a comic book. That was Magic the Gathering. Mm. And Legit? it was like, yes. Nice. And it was like, um. Oh, is this Marvel? Like the Age kind of Orza. Yes. The yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. With the very like Orza painterly art. art. Yeah. And then it's like, um, the action unfolds, right? Mm. And then the, the, the people spell slings at each other like magic people do. Mm. And then. <laughs> magic people. Like they, they just walk around like, cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Because they cancel. Wizards are torn. Cancel. It's spell pierce. Yeah. Spell. Syncopate. Syncopate. Oh, I summon Nor in the way. They, um, <laughs> oh, he ran was, away again. Oh, oh shit. damn it. Um, so, yeah. Magic jokes, um, baby. That, and then, at the very end, there's like one whole page that dictates, or I don't know what they put this in anyway. Like, there's one whole page that says that um, what happened in terms of cards. Like so, oh, she cast oh, a shot. Wow, that was yeah, 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 yeah. so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. weird. If great. I can find that, that yeah, should dude, be. I a, see that. That should be bizarre. in the house. Were the plays somewhere. legit? The plays were legit. Oh like, my god! That's and so like, dumb. they never. No, no. Sh- no. the story was happening right. during the comic, like, right, right. and they're just throwing spells. It looks like <laughs> right. they're just throwing spells, and then they break down the action, <laughs> like, Yo, like sports wait, analysts. Does this mean that every time they make a new set of cards? They have to tie it into the story. Like, is this possible to happen? <laughs> I mean, they, oh, let's make this spell for that. Yeah, or do they yeah, work backwards know. where they make the game first? 
play it and like, oh, we can work around this. I mean, they are <laughs> we can doing make a story it, like, like they are doing know. it in in modern magic right now. Yeah, but like, do you think that's a process? I think so. They like, make the story based on the cards. It they should make, be based then, on like, the lore because. Fucking but no cancel or it's a story can I mean, I mean, like, <laughs> how did they name expansion titles like Urza's Saga, Urza's Legacy? Well, so that, that part they were focusing be, on one guy. Urza, yeah, but it's still like part of Urza's like the story stick. of the Brothers War. Yeah. So I guess na na parang oh let's let's have Sigu, let's have this spell based on this event or this spell like. Recognize, like, be recognized in this yeah. in this event or this character. We're at the great outdoors with cats walking around. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it's so Honest. cute! Honest. A move. See oh, now, now this is take a shit. Great audio. <laughs> <laughs> audio venture. Kitty cat break. Have a break. Have a kitty cat. But yeah, oh, uh, that's cool. Speed of magic. Uh, finally got the South uh, EDH group going nice. on. Nice. Right. So shout outs shout to out AK Enzo Martin. Nice. Yeah, it was. It, 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 it now was really we have fun. to force them to listen to the show. <laughs> I think Enzo's Big already shout listening. Out. Nice. Now we need to force the rest of the rest of the rest of the rest. Yeah, I guess so. Pari, alam mo ba yung podcast? I mean, podcast. I mean, dun kayo. <laughs> I mean, we should like if we're going to force them to listen to, we should add some some magic stuff. <laughs> oh, speaking but, of magic lore stuff, oh, I listened to the first chapter of the Guilds of Ravnica storyline. Yeah. Basically, like About people are speculating. Agent. Yeah, the Demir uh, <laughs> Yo, we got a planeswalker baby for Demir. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got one. What do you mean? There's a baby that Lazav is trying to protect. Oh. It's like so it's, a, it's a Demir agent. <laughs> this near automatic. He sucks Sorry. at his job. Okay. So, parang he gets in trouble with his regular boss. Yeah. Parang may extortion or some bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. May utam siya. Oh. Fucking Lazav walks in. Oh Knocks shit! Knocks the dude out. Oh no! And the guy's like, "Holy shit! It's the guild master." Yeah. <laughs> like, don't hurt my family. It's like, "Oh no, your child is very special. Oh. Like, we'll take good care of him." Like, are you yeah. gonna take him away from me? No, no. Just raise him well, and we'll provide you with financial aid cool. to to give him a good childhood. Okay. What did parang the comments are like, "Yo, are we gonna get a planeswalker baby for Demir? Yeah. Holy shit!" <laughs> Is that Minotaur? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yes, for sure. Yeah, it was a good. Yeah. That's a good story. It's interesting. Yeah. And like it references that yung that card na yung cutting strands or whatever. <laughs> yeah. What? Yung, no. the, it's yung, the card that it's a removal, but the yung, extra phase you sacrifice a yung creature. Yung the lady with the spider's web. Yeah, yeah, with, like the fate strings. Yeah, I don't remember this silk silk web thing. Parang may oh, like sure. the strings of fate. Oh, yeah. the this is the black card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. it's the, the removal it. spell, but you need to sack one of your creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you heal Severed based strength. on the stuff. That, yeah, yeah, there that we go. Oh, yeah. So essentially, when that happens, yeah. they're cutting off memory links. Yeah, oh. that's how they mess with your mind. That's really cool. Demir. Fucking Demir is cool. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, but yeah, yeah. So far, that was interesting. Like, oh, I know that card. Oh, I get this now. <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> Shock! Fuck! No! Oh no! So I guess that's it. Are we closing in? That's pretty much e? it. We're e? waiting for Emil to get back. E? Yeah. We're, we're not really gonna end this. I mean, we're not gonna end this podcast until Emil gets back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I only have so much battery life. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, we'll be waiting here until next <laughs> week, <laughs> next so, Wednesday. Uh, for the listeners listening right now, be right enjoy back. Enjoy <laughs> this commercial break. Six hundred thousand hours of what's <laughs> stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but oh god, uh, yo, do we got them? Them? Oh yeah. yeah uh, shout, out. shout outs to our patrons, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we have new patrons. Recently? Oh, we do. Yes, we yeah. do. Uh, reader mail. We have to like wait for. We'll build that up for the miles. Yeah. To get that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Patreon, shout outs to, Emails is in of Japan. course, Carlo, Likudine, Thank you. Uh, Charlie. Um, Are we allowed to say their last names? I mean, like, we already we did. We, we, well, we yeah, already we, did we for, already for Carlo. Like, dropped so Carlo's last it? name. Yeah, no. many times in the past many, few episodes. Lysodyne. Lysodyne, yeah. Let's Carlo, keep it at that. Let's, let's hope that. he likes it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Carlo Lysodyne. Lysodyne. And then, of Nobody's course, uh, Charlie, um, Cherry, we got, Kevin. We got Charlie from Quantum Play. We got... The Buko Studios. Yeah, Buko oh, Studios. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, that was my peoples. And then D Nice. <laughs> and, and then uh, Kenneth. Yeah. My man. 
who was who also did like loves a lot of Baltus a, a reader mail oh, yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah, he did the reader the mail before. Collector. Yeah, Those got the them th- Gundams too, son. So yeah, thanks yeah. Patreons. Thanks yo. You rock. I am. <laughs> yes, yeah, different podcast. Another podcast. You rock. You rock. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Shout I guess. Show, show us some love also to our Facebook page. Uh, mm-hmm. Good Trades Brigade on Facebook. Please mm-hmm. like. We post funny shit. Yes. We will post one soon. I'm sure there's a funny one right there right now. So check. Yeah, it makes what oh, does dude. Seattle's best look like. <laughs> oh, fuck. They already, guys, posted it? Oh, oh not yet. Oh, it's man. It's most likely it's gonna we'll be there check it out. Of course, <laughs> uh, please check out our Patreon page. Yep. Uh, Patreon.com slash Good Trades Brigade. Is that the proper link now? Did we get the thing yes. at the end? Nice. Noise. Yeah, I guess so. I'm so happy. <laughs> we guess so. We'll have um, to double check. We are very lucky that, that people support us in this way. I, I just want to keep yeah. on improving and do the, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. We will um, use the money to better our equipment, our yep. setup. A studio in the future, if it's Hopefully. possible. Yeah. At the then, very least, another mic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the goal. That's the first uh, one. So far, uh, yeah, we are also... like You can also listen to our past episodes on... Selected sport platforms such yeah. as Apple Podcasts, Ooh. Breaker, mm. Castbox, yeah. Google Podcasts, mm. Overcast, yeah. Pocket Casts, Ooh. Radio Public, Ooh. Spotify, mm, Stitcher, and TuneIn. Keep, keep it. Anchor. Anchor. Keep it. Keep Anchor it Anchor steady. FM. Keep it steady. Anchor it steady. FM. Anchor, 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 Anchor FM. FM. Yeah. Keep it steady. I want to do one for Stitcher. Like, uh, Stitcher supplier. Keep it together. <laughs> No, that's fix it. Stitcher. Fix it. There's a hole in your There's a hole in your pants. Pass the stream God. Stitcher, pass the stream on it. Keep it going, folks. Keep it going, guys. Bye. Get out of the south. I want to eat. I want to So I can Start do it when right you're now. Ready. All right. Okay, naman yung levels. Yeah. Can you? I cannot see. Is it? Uh, but doing the thing. Ooh. The, yeah. Left right. Yeah. Left right. Left yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Left right. Rafi. Oh, sorry. Beep bop. Beep bop. Is it boop. moving? Come <laughs> No, nope. I don't know. What? No, the bars were supposed to move. Yeah, they moved. They okay. moved. All right. All right. I don't know the way they should move. Oh no. It's just you and me, Miguel, and a mic. Oh. Hello, Miguel. It's Hello. Me, Miguel. It's me, Rafael. <laughs> I was again in your ears. You think this is an official? <laughs> no. You think this is a Patreon read? But no, it is us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Kahit ako naging uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you feel that in your ears? Hi. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you all very much for your support. We hope you enjoy this episode of Good Trades. Most of you win. My female wife, you rock. <laughs> My... <laughs> okay. I think that was good, right? Finish it. <laughs> Finish it. My female wife, you rock.